Now question is two syringes of different cross sections without needles filled with water are connected with a tightly fitted rubber tube filled with water. Diameters for the diameters of the smaller piston and larger pistons are one centimeter and three centimeters. So first radius with the help of diameter I can write the first radius and that is zero point. 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter and R2 second radius that will be 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 right it is meter find the force exerted on the large piston when the force of 10 newton is applied to the smaller piston so see F1 we have that is uh, 10 newton we have to find F2, right? So, simple formula we have pressure P1 is equal to P2. Both pressure will be same. So, simple formula F1 upon A1 is equal to F2 upon A2. Now, F2 we have to find subject that F2. So, F2 is equal to F1 upon A1 into A2, right? Now by putting values F1, F1 is 10 Newton, E1 means pi R1 square into pi R2 square, pi pi gets cancelled out. So R1 square, R2 square upon R1 square we will get F2 in Newton, right. Now second, if the smaller, smaller piston is pushed in through 6 centimeter, how much does the larger piston move out? So see here, we know that volume always remains constant. Volume remains constant. So length into area, that is volume. Similarly here, length into area, right? Now larger piston, how much does the larger piston move out, right? So here also we need to find L2. L2 is equal to L1 A1 upon A2. Now L1 we have that is 6 centimeter. We have to convert it into meter. Right. So L1 will be here. I am writing that 6 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Right. A1 again pi R1 square this formula. A2 again pi R2 square this formula. Right. So here R1 square upon R2 square. We know that R1 and R2 by putting these values, we will get L2 in meter, right? So our answer will be in meter because we convert all the terms in meter.